Look at this photograph. Fellas, it's real good friend Rick the Stick reporting in here, and I have a juicy piece of uh, golden advice. A tidbit, if you will. Some call it a tit bit. A juicy tit bit. Um, and it revolves around this, fellas. This is called the Jim Pin, okay? I don't want to be a shill, all right? I'm not shilling this. And I say this a lot of videos because, you know, I recommend these products and, you know, I, I'm not a shill, okay? I just recommend the stuff that I believe in. And I used the Jim Pin for the first time at Jujima Mafu's house. He, uh, you know, we wanted to get zesty. Dude, what the hell? Ah! Why did you do this? Put extra weight on the stacks, right? Like the world's heaviest fly. No one's ever done this. Full stack. This is like 500 pound fly. Two gin made it look easy. Yeah! And the seated low row, right? That was only possible because of the gym pin. And I got my own gym pin. Okay, listen, I'll, and I'll say this right now. This is a disclaimer that I saw the gym pin. I want to say two years ago, about a year to two years ago, and I said, I'm not spending whatever, 60, 100 bucks, whatever it was, something, you know what I mean? Like, it seemed like a waste of money, okay? You know, I'm just going to be frank. So I bought an extra long screwdriver, and I was like, this screwdriver can hold more weights than the, dr the gym pin you could ever dream of. So I stuck the screwdriver in the stack, and I put some plates on it. You know, I bang out a set, and I said, look at that. Worked perfectly. Well, the screwdriver was bent, okay? So I got one good use out of that screwdriver, because uh, let's be honest, you know, it's not meant to hold succulent stacks of steel. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but with the gym pin now, listen, this is why I, I'm recommending this. You know, I don't want you guys to waste your money. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a waste of money. I, I see it as an investment. And what you're investing in is a stronger mindset, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, it's a mindset, fellas. You know, that's a classic Sticky Ricky-ism. But it's, you know, it'll always be a mindset. And you can say, well, Sticky, how is this a mindset? Well, let me tell you something. I've considered machines a joke, a waste of time for quite some time now. And I really would only use them to either A, warm up, or B, uh, when I was feeling lethargic and I didn't feel like working out very hard, right? Like, uh, you know, I say I had something earlier in the day, I'm exhausted, I'm spent, I had a long day previously, then I would just do some fluff on the machines just to get a pump, okay? But the game has been changed, fellas, because now my mindset is, um, you know, whereas before, without the gym pin, it was... Uh, you just work up to the full stack, right? And once you do the full stack, it's like, well, you can't do anymore. So, you know, that's it. And you're going to get a certain, you're going to reach a certain point of strength where the full stack isn't really that difficult. But because it's the max weight, you're going to freaking convince yourself that it's like, well, that was, I guess that was hard enough, right? But the thing is, fellas, is once I started using this gym pin, and again, I'm not shilling the product, you know? I'm, please don't, uh, I don't get kickbacks or anything like that. It's just because I've been using it for all of my workouts now. And uh, it's changed my mindset in the sense of before where full stack was the highest I would go. And it's like, okay, well, that was pretty tough. Now it's full stack is just part of the warm up, right? And now uh, at the very least, I'll do full stack plus, you know, I don't know what that way, you know, it probably comes up to be about 100 pounds or so, right? Yesterday, the video I uploaded, I just put the 225s on. Today, uh, I put 245s on, right? Every machine's a little bit different in how much weight you're going to be allowed to put on it. You know, the 45s or the 25s depends on, you know, the stack and the setup and all that. But today I was, you know, 245s, maybe next time will be 345s, right? I also don't want to snap the cables, break the machines at the gym, right? Now it's my mindset is totally different and now I kind of have a whole new approach on machines. Like machines are going to be easier. They're going to be easier than free wits, of course, right? There's less uh, stabilization factor involved with it. It's the, the weight's stable. It's easier to move, easier to muscle. Um, but 
I think a big part of it is, you know, you're just limited to the strength of the machine, right? And that's why a lot of times um, weaklings are on machines, you know, because they can do like, you know, half the stack and they feel pretty good. Well, it's half the stack. And what would half the stack equate to with a free weight? Well, probably not very much, right? What does a full stack equate to for free weights? Eh, probably like, you know, like, eh, that kind of weight. Like, eh, it's, it's good. It's respectable weight, right? But it's not like crazy. But now with the gym pin, you can load on, you know, 45s. You can make it 100 pounds heavier. You can make it 200 pounds heavier. And now all of a sudden, you know, that machine is a totally different beast, right? Do you understand what I'm saying about how it's changing your mindset? It's changing your mindset because now the full stack is peanuts, right? And even if you're not that much stronger than the full stack, well, you're going to... If you have the pin and you're putting extra weights on the stack, no longer you're looking at this, well, the stack's the max. Now you're looking at this, the stack is the warm-up. So you understand what I'm saying? It's raising the bar for you. And that's what I'm saying about this. That's why I think this is, you know, a freaking uh, invaluable, I guess. Um, you can't put a price on it, basically, because now I'm going to freaking total max out, just absolutely crush, destroy max motor units, max freaking effort uh, on all this stuff that I never would have been able to do before, right? Like the row machine, for instance, right? The row machine is amazing when you're a noob, but then you get to a certain amount of strength and all of a sudden it's just like, yeah, now, you, now it's just a warm-up tool. Well, now it can be a freaking max effort again. Lap pull-down, same thing with the lap pull-downs. Uh, and you can say, well, Sticky, why don't you just do weighted pull-ups, Sticky Dicky? And that is true. Weighted pull-ups are better movement. But with the lap pull-downs, a lot of times, you have a lot of different sorts of um, cable, or I'm sorry, like handle attachments, different grips, if you will, right? Like you got those like mag grips that uh, are like the most ergonomic ones. You know, you got uh, like fat grip, um, different types of like easy curl bar type grip. You know what I'm saying? Like that are going to feel optimal on your joints, right? Um, just all that kind of stuff. It's just way more tools, guys. And, you know, if I uh, have one more piece of advice that I could give, it's like you can never have too many freaking tools in the box because, you know, lifting is a long-term freaking, uh, you know, competition, right? It's a never-ending competition with yourself. And with every tool you have, it's like a freak. Okay, let's let's reword this. You know, it's a freaking lifting is a freaking uh, uh, cooking extravaganza, and you want to be able to have as many spices in the cupboard to cook the most delicious meal. And the delicious meal, of course, is your physique and your the flavor is the freaking strength. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make the most freaking delicious. Uh, succulent dish and how are you going to do that well you're gonna have you know as many spices and herbs and sauces and things of that sort because well it's like well yeah salt right is the freaking barbell exercises and salt is great salt's gonna make everything more delicious but why not a little you know freaking paprika you know to sprinkle on there you know fat grips a little dill weed do you know what i'm saying like and it's just it just makes every day a little bit more exciting when you can change it up like that. Because let's be honest, you know, it's, everything gets old. It really does. And that's why people eventually quit. They burn out. I still have the same passion for lifting that I did when I was 11 years old when I started. Okay. I've been lifting for over two decades. Okay. Because when I started, I was, you know, Johnny Bodybuilder, looking at the Gold's Gym books, buying the Arnold Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding, doing all the cookie cutter stuff, and it was new and it was exciting. Ah, dang it, sorry about that. The camera died, which ticks me off because I like to be a one-take Jake. Because listen, if you have to do more than one take, it's not coming from the heart. It's not coming from the soul. You're not speaking the truth. Why are you doing multiple takes? Do you understand what I'm saying? But anyways, you know, and then I got to college, and I had to do the football strength conditioning program because nobody cared about re the wrestling program. So they just gave us the football strength and conditioning coach and one of the assistants. And they just gave us the freaking football strength coach or strength program. You know what I'm saying? So power cleans, squats, bench, pull-ups, you know, sled pushes, bear crawls, all that kind of stuff. You know, and then I learned about kettlebells and I learned about deadlifting and I went to that whole saga. And then I got the... Odd lifting saga, you know what I'm saying? The meme lifts. 
right? And, uh, you know, certain phases, and then we come around, you know, full circle, back to Johnny bodybuilding stuff, but leveled up now. Do you know what I'm saying? It's fresh and it's exciting. Machines are boring, but they're fresh and exciting when they have unlimited potential. Now listen, you could fill out this whole gym pin with 45s. Where do you go from there? Well, another gym pin full of 45s, of course. So you have unlimited weights. I mean, really, you're only restricted by how much weight the machine can hold, which I would like to think they're rated for a lot more than the is on the stack. But do you understand what I'm saying, guys? It's, uh, it's a whole new can of worms you get to open up. It makes things exciting. And even if you're maxing out on the full stack, that's like, you know, you can barely get in one rep. Well, listen, even if you have 10 pounds more, right? You know, you freaking barely get one. That's okay, right? You put the gym pin on, you put 10 more pounds or something, you know, and all of a sudden that full stack was just a warm up set, 10 more pounds more, you know, you're feeling it, you're feeling it. You take the 10 off and now you can rep the full stack more easily because the CNS is fired up, the, you know, you're freaking maxed out, max ISO static hold, you know, some of the machines where you have the, uh, you know, you can push it to get it out, you can do force negatives, right, that's like, that guys, that right there, that's game changer right there, freaking gym pin, fully loaded, if the machine says 300 pounds, you get 500 pounds on that sucker, right? You freaking use your legs to get it out there. You know, you control those negatives. You push, push, push. You use those legs to get it out there. Control those negatives. I mean, guys, game changer. You know, machines. Machines. They're memes, right? The meme machines. Or are they? Is it just that they're limited to the amount of weight on there? So, you know, I just wanted to give you guys that juicy little nugget. My two cents, I'm excited, you know, I feel like it's probably gonna get old real fast, but I'm just excited to max out every machine as heavy as I can go and, you know, but I mean, still, frick, it's better than, you know, only see machines as uh, pump blasters and uh, warm up tools, you know what I'm saying? On that note, guys, Sticky Ricky reporting out, hope you enjoyed that succulent tit bit.